tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the Educational Booster Pack Mark II with Energia to operate the joystick and onboard LCD. The Educational Booster Pack Mark II is a great addition to your launch pad, giving you an onboard LCD, a temperature sensor, an ambient light sensor, microphone, buzzer, RGB LED, and 3-axis accelerometer. You'll be able to program your launch pad to utilize the analog components on the booster pack to make some compelling projects, such as wireless controllers, game devices, and more. For this example, we'll need an MSP430 F5529 launch pad and the Educational Booster Pack Mark II. The booster pack also works with many of the 40-pin standard launch pads supported by Energia. Go ahead and attach your booster pack to the top of your launch pad and ensure it is properly oriented. Now, plug your launch pad to your computer over USB. Next, let's open up Energia. We'll import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Educational BP MK2, LCD underscore joystick. In the code example, we first include the spy library and the necessary screen drivers. We then define our joystick variables. In the setup function, we initialize our screen using the myScreen.begin function and set our joystick variables to zero. Now, in the loop section, we read the position of the joystick. If the position has updated, then we redraw our dot on the screen with the updated joystick feedback. Press the Verify and Download button and watch the dot on the LCD react as we move the joystick around. Let's go ahead and open up another code example. In this sketch, we're going to show you how to use the Educational Booster Pack Mark II with Energia to use the onboard buzzer to play music and audio cues. Go to File, Examples, Educational BP MK2, Buzzer Birthday Tune. In this code example, we include the pitches.h file, define the pin for our buzzer, and create arrays for the notes of the melody and the note duration. In the setup function, we set our buzzer as output using the pin mode function. Now in the loop section, we set up a for loop for playing the melody. We calculate the note duration by dividing 1000 by the value in our array and store that to a variable. Using the tone function, we can play the note in Energia by indicating the buzzer pin, the note, and the note duration in the arguments. We use a delay to pause between notes to give a more natural sound. Finally, we use the no tone function to turn off the buzzer and prepare for the next note. And that's it. Press the Verify and Download button and listen as your launch pad plays a birthday song. With many onboard components, this booster pack is capable of handling many more applications for your next launch pad project. <laughs>